that I'm standing here before you this night is a huge risk. I was banished from this land by the king. And I know that his warriors will kill me if they set their eyes on me. But it has become imperative that I come back to this land, my land. It is right to say that the land is passing through a time of desolation and I'm only here to ask just one question. What is our crime? What is our sin? You are the Ani of Nampo and there is nothing we can do without you. I know that I will die someday, but not in exile. I will surely return to the land of my birth. But I do not want to return to a land without inhabitants. What do we do? This, this land is in ruins, ruins because, because men of this land are not asking questions. I, I, I am sure it is the voice of the gods I hear. I submit myself to the supremacy of the gods. Please, tell me those questions that our men are not asking. Please. You have been banished from this land. That I know. You were back in this land because you were worried. Do not be in a hurry to leave this land. Sleep in this land. And before the cock crows are done, you will know what to say. And then what, what you must do will be clear to you. I just passed here now and I didn't see anybody standing here. Who are you please and how did you know my name and my daughter's name? My, my name, name is Ogoyo. I came here today to ask you just one question. question. For, For how long, long are you going, going to sleep? Omoma Awaru of Nanko Kingdom. I, I have not heard that name before and I'm sure we've not met. When, when people, people look into the mirror, they see themselves. A time, time is coming, coming in Nanko when, when they will look into the mirror and they see strange things. You, you are, are a woman, woman that sits in a position of authority. Do, do something, something about, about this fast. Your, your husband, husband may be confused. And once that man is confused, you are finished. No, no. I actually think you're giving me a message meant for somebody. Are you by any means telling me I don't, don't know you? Eh, uh, you might know me. In fact, you know me because you just called my name and my daughter's name. But there's something you said that is not true. You just called me a woman in authority and I'm not. Gogo Ibo has visited you once. Start in time, time to do something so that, that when next I visit, I visit you again, again it, it will be, be a happy, happy meeting. meeting. Don't, Don't allow, allow me to get, get angry with you. Because, because if I get, get angry with you, you will be so true. What is the matter with you? I, 
had a nightmare. I saw a spirit. She disappeared before me. Spirit. Did, did the spirit say anything to you? Uh, she's a very beautiful woman. Dressed like an Asian queen. She introduced herself to me as Ugebo Ibo, the Omuma Waru of Nanko Kingdom. It is clear to me that you are not human. Identify yourself. Do you, Do you know, know the, the difference, difference between, between yesterday and tomorrow? I am a hunter of Nanko. I will never be intimidated by any spirit that refuses to identify herself. I am the goddess of the stream of Nawa. How dare you attempt to walk out of me? You know my name? What do you want? I am the goddess of the stream of Nawa. And I am here to tell you that tomorrow is going to be bright in Nawa. But you must summon courage to heal the wounds from yesterday. What do you mean by heal the wounds of yesterday? I, I see you. I see you. I see you. This is because of the moment of the day. You may be just a hunter, but you have something big to do with the day. I want to be very sincere with you. If you men do nothing, tomorrow is going to be very black. And when this happens, happen, you must know, step out and accept it. Don't, Don't allow me to get trapped. Do something, something now. now. What would you want us to do? The day, day is coming, your master, when, when you shall see me. Follow me closer, closer to see me, and, and I, I shall take you to the man you seek. What is it? Is there something you're not telling me? Have you heard of her before? What you saw was not a spirit. No, no. She was a spirit. If she wasn't, she would not vanish before me. She disappeared. She disappeared. I didn't see her again. Ukokbe Oibo is a goddess of the scream of Nagwa. Goddess? What does the goddess want from me? Do you know the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? M my husband, this question is really weird. I don't understand. What I will ask you to do is to go back to bed. Sleep. A lot of things are wrong in Nakwa. But it is clear to me that the gods and the goddesses I attempting to solve the problem. But, but how does that concern me? She also said that those of us that sit in position of authority must do something. She said I would not like it if she gets angry with me. I don't understand. How do I come in? What does she want from me? I will make a question to you now. Go back to sleep. Indeed, tomorrow will surely be bigger than today and yesterday. Hey, that's of Nampo. I have not slept for weeks. My heart is tearing into two. And that is why I call the elders that sit in council with me. For us to know and decide the way forward. Prosperity has been banished from this land. And I ask myself again and again, why is it happening during my time? 
Why? Hmm. Igwe, the three clans that represent Nankwa Kingdom are all here. I am the head of my clan. Irunze here is the head of his clan. Nebulisa here is the head of his clan. Igwe, do not bother yourself. Do not worry. We have sent for Oba, the soothsayer, to come here and tell us why prosperity has been banished from Nankwa Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Igwe. Are you aware of the information that got to me this morning? No, Igwe. You don't know? A woman of this kingdom died on her way back from Akama, <laughs> where she has gone to buy yam and cocoa yam. Can somebody here with me imagine this scenario? A woman of Nampo, Nampo of all kingdoms. Could that be the reason why the gods killed her? I have never said that the gods killed her. I didn't say that. You didn't hear that from me. No, I didn't. What I am saying is that I am very, very angry. Why is it happening during my time? Why? Everybody is angry. People are in agony. I ask myself, have I committed any offense? Or did I inherit any cause from my father or any of my ancestors? Why is it that now that I sit as the king, prosperity has taken a leave from now for? Why? Um, in fact, let me let me start. Good. Stand. Uh, I have to stand because my heart is heavy, very heavy. It is very heavy because of the situation we have found ourselves mm. in Nankwa. Mm. Uh, the way things are going, Igwe, huh, we will be tempted to curse the gods. Yeah, no. huh? uh, but I am not saying we should curse the gods. Yeah. Let us wait for Oba yeah. to come here and tell us here and now. Why we are where we are. Okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. We wait for more. Uh -huh. You go. No problem. The problem in Nanko is that our men will not allow us to go out to other lands and make new friends. You are sounding as though you want to run away. If I have the means, I will do just that. Are we not wasting away? Nankwa is under a curse and the prosperity has dried up and the progress has taken a leave from here. Our men are only lost after us and none has the money to take a wife. Things are not just right and every day that passes by, maidens of Nankwa are getting older. You are sounding more like a strange woman this afternoon. Our advice is not to allow any other person to hear this. Hmm. Hope you girls wait for me. Let me first so that we'll go home together. Hey, Ego. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. Hey. This your like is fine. Let me give this to you. Thank you. Hey. Chine, why are you angry? Hope it does not have anything to do with your failed marriage proposal. What did he just say? Hmm. I can marry from any of the surrounding kingdoms, but can never marry from Akama, God forbid. What did you mean? We were talking about marriage before you came. Your friend here is angry because her father refused to allow her marry from Akama. If not for her father, she would have married a man from Akama. And you know what that means? <laughs> she has no class. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, man. Hold it! <laughs> Maidens of Nankwa must not fight themselves. The problem we have in Nankwa is grave. I came here because I knew I would meet some maidens here. You are afraid. I see fear in your faces. But the maidens of Nankwa must live above fear. Go to the palace and tell the king to meet me here. You mean you want us to go and fetch the king? I say it again. The problem we have in Nankwa is grave. 
King Odera must meet me here. Wait, are you not the same Amadi that has been troubling the land? No, you go and fetch him yourself. Mm -hmm. I do not want to believe that the madness has caught up with the maidens. A man of Namkwa has given a direct message to the maidens of Namkwa. It is a taboo for you to ignore my message. Now run. Run and fetch me the king! Awake, what are you saying about? Igwe. Igwe. I am seeing things. Igwe. I see too many things. But everything is awkward and extremely unclear. Oh, but don't be silly. Mm. Oh, but you should you should not be silly before the king. Mm. You are the seer of Nanfo. And the elders in council came to the conclusion that you are the only one mm -hmm. that can solve a problem. That's why they sent for you and you're finally here. Yeah. Why are you telling me that you are seeing things that are awkward and unclear? Settle down and do your work as this here. Tell us the way forward. My eyes. Igwe, my eyes are seeing what my mouth cannot explain. How do we solve our problems? Huh? How do we solve them? We sent you here to come and tell us what our problems are. We are lost without you. Oba, begin to see properly. Help us. There is only one man that can clearly explain what I am seeing. Yes. I see things, but I cannot explain them. We must send for this young man. He is the only one who can explain what my eyes see. Is it not clear that Tauba is only parading himself as the seer? He doesn't see anything. Tauba, now who is that man that can see what you are seeing and you are not able to explain? Who is that man that can explain it for us? Because we need to send for that man immediately. Amadi! Amadi! Amadi is the only person who can see what I'm seeing and explain it clearly. Amadi has super gift of seeing. Uh, Ogba. Ogba. Are you aware that this Amadi is in exile? Thank you. Are you aware that this Amadi was sent into exile because of his wickedness towards this kingdom? Bien. Eh? Oh. You now want us to go and fetch the man who was sent into an exile as an enemy of this kingdom to come and provide solutions to our problems. The solutions uh, we are lost without him. We are lost without him. Oba. The desolations we face today shall remain until we fetch him. Oba. Oba. Are you the only one living in this kingdom who is ignorant of the fact that Ahmadi was banished from this land? Because the elders in council concluded rightly that he is an enemy of this kingdom. Why are you finally sitting before the king as the seer of Nampo and you are advising us to go and bring the same man that is destroying this kingdom to come and solve the problem of this kingdom? How dare you make such suggestion before the king? How? I'm just a messenger of the gods. I'm just calling the message of the gods. Why are you here? We met the man that troubles the land. He said you should come to the village stream and see him. Mm. Stand up. Thank, Thank you, Igwe. You met the man that troubles the land? Yes, Igwe. Who is the man? Igwe is Amadi. Oh! oh. 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 Mm. Did I hear you say Amadi? Yes, Igwe. Igwe 
said you should come and see him at the screen. He sounded like someone who has a lot to say. How will I believe that Oba has no hand in this? How will I believe? Oba, how am I going to believe that you have no hand in this mission of the, of the maidens? Why on earth will Amadi ask me, the king of Nanko, to come to the stream? Hey, that's in council. Are you not seeing it? That Amadi is still nursing his age long ambition of overthrowing this king to be the king in this land? Is she a ruse that I take a subject to that? People do not conspire before the king. Igwe, we are not conspiring. Oh. <laughs> Why should we? We are only discussing the way forward. Uh, I want us to tread with caution as far as this issue is concerned. I want to understand what you mean by caution. Igwe, any problem that is bigger than Nanko hmm. is bigger than the throne. And what do you mean by that? We see for yourself. Isusuya here says Amadi is the only one that has the solution to our problem. Mm -hmm. He has not finished. The maidens are here saying that the same Amadi wants to see the Igwe at the village stream. Ah, you will see for yourself now. Let us go. Let us go there and see him. Yeah. Whatever it is. Igwe, I found out what I say. I found out what I say, Igwe. Hmm. Oh God, oh God, see me. I sent the maidens to get King Odera. I did not send for the elders. Who gave you the permission to come into this kingdom? Amadi? If only you can humble yourself, King Odera, I will tell you what the ancestors said. The ancestors of Nankwa cannot speak to the man who is in exile. Your Majesty, it is always good for one to glorify the eagles when one sees one. Because he never can tell when next we're going to see another. Our children yet unborn will never forgive us if we fail to remedy this abnormality. Men of Nanko are not cowards. We must avoid to behave like cowards. Why is it that every time you are talking about war, talking of war, huh? we don't need war. What we need is peace. Can you define peace? What do you know about peace? When I was a child, I usually go to that farmland with my father. But today, the coarse people of Uroji are claiming that land. And here you are, telling us about peace. Go to war with the people of Uroji. Eh? Mguano. Ozogulu, my brother, you've spoken well. And for you also, there is how you reason at times. That makes me wonder if you are a man of this Nanko. Onogolu! Onogolu, you and your brother should stop insulting me. Sit, fight with. Don't try it again. Don't dare me again. What do you consider as insult? Eh? Men of Nanko, it is only a coward that would think that war would last forever. The people of Akama are claiming our land from the north. 
And also the people of Uroji are claiming our land from the south. What then are we saying? Should we fold our arms and watch them take our land from us? No. The noblemen of this kingdom, if nothing is done, you wake up one morning and see Nanko under the blind king of Uroji. So, what I am suggesting now is war. Let us confront them once again with war. Men of Nanko, I want to make my point. If this meeting ends now with the impression that I am a weakling who is afraid of war, then this meeting is unfair to me. I want us to know that I am not afraid of war. I fought at Insube. I fought at Ibaji. I fought at Okija. I want to let you know that I have seen more wars than all of you. But as a rainmaker, I am supposed to be a preacher of peace and preach peace all the time. Let us seek peace. Enough of that, won't you? What we are discussing here has nothing to do with red making. It has a lot, more than a lot to do with it. Red making is talking about water. Water signifies peace. Water has no enemies. Let us seek peace. Because I know that progress and prosperity only come with peace. My advice is that we send emissaries to the people of Uruaji to let them know how we feel. Let us stay away from war. I rest my case. Um, it seems the house is divided into two. Mosu seems to be alone in his doctrine of peace. Others are clamoring for wars. <coughs> I would like to stand in between. I support those who are clamoring for wars. And at the same time, I support Mosu concerning his doctrine of peace. Regarding the men of Uruaji, <laughs> we will not allow them to undermine our military might. What have you just done? You said nothing. You ended up saying nothing. This is one thing I hate with men of your clan. They will always want to speak and end up saying rubbish. Hold on. Are you crazy? Make no reference to my clan any longer. And if I make reference to your clan, what are you going to do? Yeah, I will Stop do what to exactly Stop. what I did to your father. Remember what happened to your house in the wilderness? What happened to your bank of yams? You recall? Stop it. Stop it. Don't tell me. This is just the beginning. There is something I want us to understand. And what could that be? In every generation, there must be men who will always stand out to fight for that generation. It will be a dent on the men of our generation if we allow the coarse people of Uroji to take control of our farmland. I am a man of war. I am not afraid of war. But the problem now is how can we get the leader of the warriors to come for war? Are you saying the leader of warriors will be against the call? I don't know what he's going to do. But we need to understand that we cannot go to war without the leader of the warriors. You know what, Abaka? Leave me to handle the leader of warriors. If he fails to make the call, I will personally force him to make the call. Why are we all talking like kids? All Zogolo here is the one talking like a kid. How can he say that the warriors can go to war without their leader? How can? You know what? I want us to close this topic for now. Let us retire back to our hut and sleep over this particular issue. And I want us to meet first thing tomorrow morning, before the heat of the day, after our morning food. We shall be going to see the head of the warriors. Don't worry, I will do the talking myself. 
and I know what to tell him. Ozogolo, men that are men move after their cause. Learn to move after your God. Because if you move before your God, you are a dead man. Hmm. I will never be tired of saying the same thing. There is no need for any war. And there is nothing anybody will say that will make me support any form of war. The best thing we can do is to send emissaries to Uruaji people. Men of Uruaji are arrogant, quite all right. But we can't go to war. If we accord them that courtesy of sending emissaries to them, there is a way it weakens them. I am a rainmaker. And I know that prosperity and progress come with rain. We'll see. I am equally against war. But we will never be afraid of war. Honestly. Show me a kingdom that is afraid of war. I will show you a kingdom whose men and women are in perpetual bondage to their neighbors. Whoever makes peaceful negotiation impossible makes war inevitable. We shall go to war if necessary. But, as you rightly pointed out, we shall be very cautious. We shall be very cautious. We must not go to war against Uruaji people. Why? If we go to war against them, our ancestors will rise up against us and fight for them. No, no let's not go to that direction. Uh, let's not go to that direction. I think I'll be back when I return from Uromentity. I'll be back. I'm going to catch you for me. Go out for me. Hey, Marike! Hey, Marike! Come. Yes, go and call your brother. Let me open your eyes before it is too late. Go and get him. Come and make one. I'm a rem maker. Rem makers are peacemakers. Mozo. Emanika. Ocha nun tuna ocha. Clean your ears very well and listen to me very attentively. By the gift of our ancestors, we are rem makers. We did not learn it. My father inherited that stone from my grandfather. And I, in turn, inherited it from my father. And if I go the way of our ancestors, one of you must inherit the stone. We are rainmakers. And rainmakers are peacemakers. And there can hardly be progress or prosperity without peace. I want you to keep away from all avoidable wars. Papa, mm. I don't understand. It seems as if there's a problem. Men of Namco are planning to go to war 
against the people of Uruaji over the Obaraba farmland. I called you here tonight as my sons to tell you that we have no right to wage any war against the people of Uruaji. Emenike and Mozo, if I sleep tonight and fail to wake up, remember that I have warned you over any war against Uruaji people. But Papa, mm -hmm. you used to tell us that men that are men should never run away from wars. That's when the war is justified. We are not justified. We have no right to wage any form of war against the Uruaji people. And always remember that we owe our present day survival to the people of Uruaji. So we cannot wage any war against them. As a Golo, I want to know the reason of your visits at this ungodly hour of the night. You're sounding as if you already know why I'm here. I don't know. War with Uraji people is very imminent. And I've come to tell you to get ready for war. Osogolu, I saw Onogolu telling other members to sleep over the matter. Osogolu, the meeting has been scheduled tomorrow morning after the morning food. Osogolu, you elected not to wait for any meeting. Osogolu, you elected to move faster than your colleagues. Why? Is there anything they can say tomorrow we can handle tonight? Obaraba farmland is our land. We must rise and silence any kingdom that want to encroach on that land. Mazogolu, warmongers hardly emerge as the leader of warriors. What is the meaning of that statement of yours? The meaning of my statement, Mazogolu, is that I am the one to go for war here in our land, not you. And you will never be the one. I know your office. That is why I'm here this night. This war must commence before dogs tomorrow. We shall slaughter all the men of Uroji and seize their women. Enough, Ozogolu! Enough. Ozogolu, you are a warmonger. If you must know, I am the leader of the warriors. And I am not in a hurry to go for any war against Uroji people. I'm here to tell you immediately that your tenure as the leader of warrior is about to expire. <laughs> this war is imminent. <laughs> we, if you don't call this war, we'll call it ourselves. And when we begin to fight, we shall identify you as a man of Oroji. Osogolu. 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 How many times did I call you? Our people say, what a name, I be moving on my way. It's a kami born of pushing. Also, go to be warned. Are you talking to me? Those that roast the yam do not roast their fingers on the process. Also, go go ahead and call for your wall. Let's see what will happen. Also, go leave my house. Also, go leave. My house. The entire ancestors of Nankwa, I invite you to come. All the spirits that support peace, I invite you to come. And in Nankwa, I call you to come. Who gave away you, boy? I'm a man of Nanko. 
Eze wain. Eze mili. Nani na unko. And all ye elders that should rise and condemn abominations. I call you to gather. A sacrilege is staring me on the face. Gather. And all you elders I can stand and condemn this sacrilege. I invite you to rise. See. The things we have not seen before cannot be seen in our time. It will not happen. See. This sacrilege must never be. Never. Amaka? Obala, Obala, Obala. Amala, you may be a yid in a sa. What in our form? Yes, in Yemen, I'm mad in Yemen, Yemen, I'm in Yemen, I'm Yemen, I'm mad. My actually, Jack, I'm born here. Ya wala na zelumi. set an example with you. I am pleading with you, the king. And the elders in council, please, to spare my life. I'm a man of peace. I have not committed any offense. Don't whisper anything to me. Speak so that everybody hears. We are here to judge a man. I have looked around. I have not seen the leader of the warriors. This is wrong, your majesty. How can we judge a man in the absence of the leader of the warriors? Do you realize that I am the king? I recognize you as the king. And I also want you to recognize me as the rainmaker of Nangu. I am forever committed to peace and due process. I say shut up your mouth. And for your information, Wosu, Ndibe, the supposed leader of the warriors, has been dethroned. Eh? Yes, he is a man of Uroji. And the man of Uroji must not be the leader of our warriors. Esiancha. Hey! You 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 also the throne in the Hey! The only thing that will save you is that you must tell me the truth that I want to hear. What is your name? And where do you come from? My name is Ubak, and I'm from Uraj. You were arrested in Obaraba land. What was your exact mission there? I am a hunter. I was hunting when your men arrested me. Do you know why they arrested you? They said I was trespassing into your land. But what that means, I don't know. Are you not aware that Obaraba land belongs to us, the people of Nankwa? Are you not aware? I am a man of Uraj and I must always hold on to the truth. What do you mean by the truth? Eh? What do you call the truth? Are you not aware that that land is our land? 
if I should die for holding on to the truth, so be it. Why are you tempting the lilies of our king? What do you mean by the truth? Our land belongs to us, the peaceful people of Uraj. It is not your land. If I should die for holding on to the truth, so be it. How dare you utter such nonsense before me? So many years ago, you, the people of Nangwa, migrated from Amodala. Even the land on which you live today was donated by our forefathers. The Obaraba land belongs to us. God. Take this man away. Go. Kill him and cut him into pieces of meat to feed our hungry crocodile. Yes. Yes. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. I will die. You are saying kill me. Even begin to kill me yourself. Kill me yourself. Kill me. You are kill me. Let me die for three. Ubi and Ngosu, why are you not saying anything? Have you suddenly gone blank? Open your mouth and say something about this intruder. We have the orders of the king to end your life. But I personally want to give you the last opportunity. Denounce your early statement and you shall leave to tell the story. That land does not belong to you. It was donated to you people by our forefathers. And that is the truth. I cannot abandon the truth, no matter what you do, cost me. The orders of the king stand. Terminate his life. Please let man of the words. What happened today is the climax of bad judgment on the part of the leadership of Nangwa. This land is defiled and if all the elders keep quiet, I, Mosu, the rainmaker of Nangwa, must never keep quiet. Mosu, shut your mouth. You can't shut me down. I am the rainmaker of Namco. Deep down in our hearts, we know that we are doing the wrong thing. Why should anyone assemble the initiated men of Namco just to order the murder of a man that was telling the truth? Why must we pass? Death sentence on a man without the impute of the head of the warriors. I want all men of peace to rise up and condemn what happened as a huge abomination. Should the man of Uruj die in this land is going to be an abomination and the consequent effect would be alarming Wilson, are you leaving the meeting has not ended and you're working out on the king where do you think you're going i have already asked the gods to exempt my family from the abominations that are being unleashed from the throne. I am not a part of this abomination. We shall go to war against the people of Uruji. Yes, we will go to war. We shall never allow any community to take us for granted. 
Iji ji nti ike na eso ezi okpu ala. Okuko nti ike na anuiba ni tofe. You are biting the finger that is feeding you. We are strangers here. The man of Uruaji was right when he told you that we migrated from Amudala. Do not wage any war against the people of Uruaji. I cannot be intimidated. What he was saying happened a long time ago and has been overtaken by events. The land is our own. We own that land. We are the owners of the land. Yes, we are the owners. You go by Alado. You are young men have been clamoring for wars. Only those who have loved and lost can tell the agonies of a parting without farewell. You go. He who never remembers where the rain started beating him will never remember where he dried his body. A she goat does not suffer the pains of parturition on his tether while an adult is in the house. It is only a fly that has no advisor that usually follows the corpse to the grave. We are not the owners of the land and you know it. Talking about history. It can take some million, millions of years, but history is history. And any kindred that does not know its history, definitely is heading for doom. We cannot wage wars against the Roger people. Remember, they have been very nice to our forefathers. The land on which we are living, they donated to us. The Obaraba, where we cultivate today, was donated to our forefathers by the Roger people. Why then should we go to wars against them? Obuayalodo, if we wage wars against the Roger people, our ancestors will definitely be against us. And the result is clear. We shall lose the war. Of course, we shall remain their slaves perpetually. Advice, do not wage wars against them. Do not bite the finger that feeds you. Yes, come back. I can see you are now a seer. My answer to that depends on your definition of the word seer. Those who have been feeding you with lies and deceiving you must have told you that I see beyond the normal human beings. Well, if that is what you call a seer, I am a seer kind of. I am living. But my, my word. Yeah. He who likes to live, let him live. I have taken a decision. That decision is to go to war. Yes. yes. We shall go to war. We must go to war. Yes. Yes. Alu, your father sent his men to kill Ndibe, the head of the warriors, because he refused to declare war on Uroji people. And then he killed my father because he stood for the truth. And he killed Mosu, the rainmaker of Nankwa, the greatest rainmaker of all times. A people must not murder their heroes. But your father murdered heroes of Nankwa. And I ask, how can we know this? Uh, Amadi. Uh, I want to apologize on behalf of everybody. Yes. Iruze, sorry I'll have to interrupt you. I want to ask the king right here. Why did you banish me from my land? Look, uh, we cannot be adding Pepe on top of injury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you see, anything can bite a man mm -hmm. in the night. Yes, right. But for the purpose of peace, and for this one we are here, yes. let's call everything mosquitoes. Mosquito. Yes. <laughs> right. mm. So what do we do? What do we do? How do we heal this land? Even in the land, I see You banished me because I told you that your father was the root of the problem in Nangwa. 
I came back to Nankwa because I got the news that my people are wallowing in pain. Men and women cultivate every year with little or no result. We are seeing desolation and destruction of a kingdom that was once the envy of all kingdoms. Presently, nothing works in Nankwa. The prophecies of the Rainmaker have been fulfilled. But he was killed because he was trying to save the kingdom. I defied the security to sneak into the shrine of Aninankwa to pray last night. And the ancestors are angry that the elders are not asking questions. They spoke clearly to me. Why are you not asking questions, elders? Amadi, Oba is here. You can verify from Oba. Elders, we have been asking questions. Only today, we invited Oba the Suseya, the king and the elders in council, to ask him the way forward. He was actually speaking to us before the maidens bashed in on us to tell us that you are waiting. And what did you tell them, Oba? I was saying things. But I could not explain the things I was saying. I want to ask you just one question, Igwe. Do men use lamps in the afternoon? No. The sons of Mosu left this kingdom with the rain-making stone. And as long as that stone remains in a distant land, Nankwa will never know peace. We shall never see that reign of progress and prosperity. Never. No, Amadi, you wait. You wait. You have a part to play in all this. Only today, Oba told us that he was seeing things. He was unable to explain the things he was seeing. And he was emphatic. He said that you are the only one that could explain what he was seeing. And we were actually wondering where to get you before the maidens came to tell us that you are waiting here. You don't have to leave in a hurry. Because I believe you have something to do in all this. I want you to understand something. The order for your banishment is here withdrawn. Nigwe! You are now a free man of Nampo. And you can freely come with us to the palace for us to discuss the way forward. Nigwe! And I'm surprised that you're not bothered. Bothered? Why should I be bothered? My husband said I should not be bothered. So, can you hear yourself talk? For God's sake, Chimwendu, you encountered a goddess. Manari, I encountered a goddess in my dream, not in real life. What do you want me to do? My dear, whether in your dream or, or real life, the truth is that you encountered a goddess and she has asked you to do something. Now I'm advising you as your friend. Do what she asks you to do before she unleashes her anger on you. Be kokwa. Please, oh. What do you want me to do? She appeared to me and told me that I am a woman in authority and I should use my position to do something in the, in the land. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Am I a woman in authority? Eh? I have a feeling that I want to dare the goddess. Dare the gods? I cannot dare the gods now. Who am I? Who am I to dare the gods? Listen, I actually called you here to tell you this because I don't know what to do. If you have any advice for me, give me now. Chimwendi, if the goddess say that a woman in authority, then grab that position and throw the meeting of all the women. Simple. Eh? <laughs> me. Chinwendu, call a meeting of all the women. Who, who am I to do that? Would they even listen to me? Mikokwa, listen to me, my dear. Don't underestimate the ways of the gods and goddesses. Start something first and let's see how it goes. You know I'm your friend, I cannot deceive you. Start something, okay?
We must send a search party of four men in search of the sons of the greatest rainmaker of all times. One must be a hunter, the other a praise singer, and then a wrestler and a soothsayer. Nankwa will never see that reign of prosperity if the sons of Ngosu do not return willingly with the stone. Amadia, I want to seek for an important clarification. These men that we must send on this mission that you are telling us about, must they come from Nankwa? Strangers cannot embark on this mission. They must be men of Nankwa. Eras and Kansu. Igwe. He has created an opening for the possible solution to the problem we face. Now I want to ask us, where do we get these men that we can send on this mission? Your Majesty, I don't think we are going to rush the selection. With all due respect, Oba, there is no time. Ugebo Ibo, the great goddess of the stream of Nankwa has started to appear to people. And that is because she is no longer comfortable with the condition of Nankwa. Omoma Waro is a beautiful goddess, but she can be deadly if taken for granted. We must get these men urgently. I, 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 I sincerely understand the urgency of this, uh, this, this issue, but I, 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 I want to ask you something. About it. Must it happen today? I am afraid, Your Majesty. But we cannot wait for another day. It must happen today. Why are you blocking my path? My name is Okuneko. Why are you such a fool? The name is Okuneko. And why are you calling me a fool? You recognize Odera as the king of Nangwa land? He is the king of my land. And I recognize him as the king. The time is coming when you will remember this meeting. And I want you to have it at the back of your head. Odera is an evil king. His father was the root of all the problems we're having in Nankwa land. Are you saying you're a man from Nankwa? You are a hunter. Hunters can always die for their kingdom. As you are ready to die for Nankwa, our land of peace. Do remember that the problem that is eating Nankwa is from the father of the sitting king. Something drastic must be done before this land is consumed. Wait. Are you telling me that he told the king to his face that his father is the cause of the problem we are faced with today in this land? Yes. He was talking like someone that has a lot of power. And the king and the elders even begged him to follow the king. Did he follow them to the palace? Yes, he did. They were leaving before we started coming back. Hey! This is serious. The former king of this kingdom is the cause of the problem we are faced with today. Hmm. What did he do? Hmm. Do you know, I was discussing with Manawi today. And she advised me to call an enlarged meeting of the women of this kingdom. Ah. God, an enlarged meeting of the women of Nagua. So say what? What are you going to tell them? My husband, that revelation I had was not ordinary. Eh? And since the men of this, of this kingdom are just relaxed, they don't want to do anything. Let me gather the women of this kingdom so we can all stand up and do something. Mm. Ha! Listen, I'm not trying to discourage you, okay? But... You see, you must be careful the way you get yourself involved in the politics of this land. There are wicked men all over the place. 
that I wouldn't want some people to start looking at my wife. Ibn Ebu, the great man of Nanko, I bring you greetings from the throne. I greet you too. If I may ask, what is your mission here this night? The throne is waiting for you. You are the only one Igo Dera of Nanko wants to see tonight. My father ordered me never to appear empty-handed before the king. I can't see the king this night because I have nothing in my house to present to this throne. This kingdom is burning and you can't claim you don't know about this. You are part of the men that will participate in the process of healing. My husband, I think you should go and see the king. Has it got anything to do with what Amandi said earlier on today? A man that has the privilege of hearing from the king should not make inquiry from the guard. Come with me and listen to the king. Amadi, I want you to tell me the truth. Are you saying that the only solution to our problem in Nanko lies in our ability to get the sons of Mosu to return with the rain-making stone of this kingdom? If we hope to see the kind of rain that brings progress and prosperity, then we must get the stone of rain of Nanko back to Nanko. Like I said before, we do not have time to waste. Igwe, I do not know what the elders are discussing, but we must get these men urgently, and they must leave immediately. The elders are trying to resolve on the men that we are going to send. Exactly. Exactly. Igwe, Igwe, I Igwe, I the elders have resolved on the first three men that will go on this very important journey. We have gotten the hunter. We have gotten the wrestler. We have gotten the praise singer. Uh, but Igwe, it, it is very difficult for us to get the fourth person, the fourth man, who happens to be the soothsayer. So the elders resolved that uh, Amadi here should uh, complement uh, the three men mm. and they represent the soothsayer. Yeah. Okay? Yes. <laughs> because he himself is the greatest seer as we now see. Yes. <laughs> Amadi, the elders of our land are making a request. Elders of our land, I greet you all. Igwe, the invitation was very urgent, but to fulfill my father's order that I should never come before the throne empty-handed, I bring you this. Thank you. You may rise. I am very much impressed. What you did is in line with the saying of our land. He who respects and worships the king must surely one day live like the king. Thank you very much. at your daughter closely and tell me what you see. Mama. What else do you want me to see now? I'm seeing my daughter. When you look at her closely, you will see the aura of royalty rotating around her. Mama, 
you started this morning. You started talking in those your funny manner. Which one is aura of royalty again? You have named her Ego. And I must say I like the name. But when she grows up, tell her that she reincarnated from the lineage of kings. And that she must carry herself as princess. <laughs> Mama, first of all, I do not believe in reincarnation. Secondly, ego is a gift to me from God. Me, myself and I. She did not come from anywhere and she's not going anywhere. She's just mine and then my husband. That's all. So let's cancel anything about reincarnation. It's not about ego. Anyway, this is not the time for me to educate you on some of the beliefs of our fathers. The only thing I must tell you is that your daughter came from the lineage of kings and you must always refer to her as princess. <laughs> yes. Mama, she's always my princess. My princess. She has always been my princess. Eh? <laughs> You're thinking. What are you thinking about? Ego, stand up, walk up to that place and come back here. Why would you want me to do that? Go and do it for your mother. I want to see you. I want to admire you with the eyes of a mother. My daughter, you're growing so fast. Anybody that walks in here now would think we are twin sisters. Mother. <laughs> hmm. You know what my mother told me? What? She said, you look like a princess. And you possess this aura of royalty. As you grow day by day, I'm beginning to see you as a potential princess. Princess? It's mother, let me tell you something. You know, during the time of Festival of Opanta, I encountered this masquerade that was calling me a princess. And I told him that I was never a princess. But the followers insisted that I should walk up to him. What happened? Yes. And I had no choice than to do that. What? Mother, I shook the hand of a masquerade. For the first time in my life, I shook a masquerade. Eh? Hey! I have not even finished. And they were singing to me as if I was truly a princess. I felt so embarrassed because I know who I am. I'm not a princess. They were singing for you. <laughs> More that was so hey! embarrassed. And you did not tell me. I forgot. <coughs> I forgot. Sorry. Hey, my daughter, this is very remarkable. It is only queens and princesses that are allowed to see the masquerade, let alone shake his hand. Hey, my daughter, you should have told me. This is good news. Mother, look at who I am. I am not a princess. My mother told me something. What? She said you reincarnated from the lineage of kings. But I don't believe in reincarnation. I still don't believe in it till tomorrow. But no matter what happens, you will always be my princess. My special princess. Thank you, oh? mother. <laughs> and you're also beautiful. Mm, you're Very more beautiful, beautiful than your mother. <laughs> Hey, you're going big every day. <laughs> Mother, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh men who are men always see it as a great honor when they are asked to represent their kingdom. We may not be the best, but the mere fact that the elders found us worthy to embark on this mission 
simply means that there is something we have that can be used for the improvement of this kingdom. I am not the eldest among us, but I have been entrusted with the leadership of this mission. I thank the gods. In the next two market days, two days representing the two eyes of the high flying eagle, we shall set out on this journey. The mission I know will be tough. We must understand that this mission must be accomplished if we hope to solve the problem in Nangwa. I want you all to prepare your minds. I'm, I'm not trying to shy away from this responsibility. My problem is that two days is too short for us to prepare for this journey. Why would you say that? I have this woman of Akama that I've been inviting to my place for the past three months now. But she had always refused. Just this afternoon, she, she told me in total confidence that she would be coming to me in the next three market days. So in other words, you are telling us that you are declining from this mission. A mission that would bring peace to our land. All because of a woman. Are you not the same person that has been urging me to get married? And I'm beginning to work towards it. I'm pleading that you should allow me to see this woman of Akama after her visit. Then I would be I would be free. Now, Obeche, listen to me. I don't want you to provoke me with that your baseless reasoning. Nanko Kingdom is on the verge of collapse. And everyone has been praying for a solution. Now the solution is here. Obeche, you are not telling me that a woman from Akama is more important than Nanko Kingdom. Obeche, are you out of your mind? I didn't say that. I just want us to... Enough, Obeche. Enough. We already accepted before the elders that we will embark on this mission. Agozi is ready. Iberebu is ready. And I am ready. Do you want to back out now? Huh? Listen to me, Obeche. Do you want to tell me that you are ready to sacrifice the resurrection of this kingdom on the altar of immorality? We live in two market days. Still planning to leave us? I was still going back on this. Hmm? I thought we have resolved this matter. No, we have not resolved anything. Listen, I smell danger. I don't want it to go anywhere. Do you realize that I am a hunter? Have you? Listen, why would you want to dissuade me from doing something, something that will bring changes to this land? When, when people, people look, look into, into the, the mirror, mirror, they see themselves. A, a time, time is coming now when we look into the mirror and we see strange things. You, you are, are a woman that sits in a position of authority. Do something, something about this fast. Your, your husband may be consumed. And when that man is consumed, you are finished. I know what the goddess told me. The king wants to destroy you. What we are doing has nothing to do with the king. Nothing. The elders in council have sent us an assault for our brothers that left in the rain making stone of Nangwa. It has nothing to do with the king. I know what my mother told me about the maidens of Abunde. She told me horrible things. Those maidens are a definition of horror. Did anyone tell you we are traveling in search of the maidens of Abunde? Who ever told you that? No. We are traveling to Omasenu. Yes, but you will definitely go through the forest of Abunde before you get to Omasenu. Hey, how will you now survive all those maidens of Abunde littered along that forest? How will you survive them? Okay, countless numbers of times 
I have encountered deadly animals in the thick forest. And I survived them. I survived them all. So what makes you think I can't survive the ordinary maidens? Ordinary? The maidens of Abunde are not ordinary. Those maidens have mystic powers. They can even make your manhood disappear. <sighs> My husband, please. Just go back to the elders in council. Tell them, tell them you're not interested in this journey. Please, do this for me. Do this for our daughter. Please, my lord. Please. Well, I'm sorry I have to disappoint you. I remain a hunter. And the interest of this kingdom comes first. We are four men that are embarking on this journey. To save our land. And I must go. We have brought you here to this boundary of Nangwa. And the reason is simple. To show you that we appreciate the fact that you are doing this for the good of the people of Nangwa. And also to assure you that we support you. Uh, and as we have supported you, our ancestors will support you. The Lord of the hills will support you. The Lord of the mountains will support you. Our ancestors will lead you peacefully and you shall return peacefully. Nanko will know peace again. Yes. So, so shall it be. He said, he said, he said. I am happy that the elders of Namqua are here to see us off. I believe that our journey will be a smooth one. We shall go and we shall return with results. I am also aware that Ichio Godo was meant to be here, but he is not here. And he explained his reasons to Obeche. Please, tell him that we understand. And we still hold him in high regards. <coughs> If I blolo, blolo. Thank you, my elders. Ejala bisija. Ejana ya bisija. Ejana bisija. Ejana bisija. Ojije ko kuma. Where's our death number? Man of Nangwa. return after eight market days. I want you to sacrifice an ego for us at the shrine of Aninanko. Uh, uh, Amadi, <laughs> where do you expect us to get an ego from in uh, Nanko? There is surely an eagle in Nanko. I want the elders to find one and sacrifice it for us at the shrine of Aninanko. This is important, and the elders must do it for us. Uh, what? what do we do? We go and uh, inform Igwe. Yes, that is still not an important thing. Let us uh, 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 go. Uh, Where's our F number? Chimwando, I'll be very disappointed if you tell me that you don't want your husband to be part of those men that will save the kingdom. No. It's not that I'm against the trip. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just scared that my husband might not return alive. Eh? I'm scared. Last night I listened to the tank cry as he went round. And I felt so, so disappointed that my husband was not selected. 
Yes. Those men are going to be permanent heroes in Nanko. Don't you get it? Manari, there's something you're not thinking about though. What if they perish along that forest that leads to Omasilu? Eh? Chimwen, Chimwen, why are you reading negative meaning into this? Nothing will happen to them. <gasps> what is it? I, I came, came here, here today to warn you. I, I gave you an, an assignment and you have not done anything about it. it. What are you looking at? I mean, what is the matter with you? Are you not seeing her? See, we are not seeing anybody. What is wrong with you? Men, Men of this, this kingdom are embarking, embarking on a mission to save the land from the hand of the wicked. Start in time to do what you have to do. Your, Your husband, husband is already doing this. this. Don't allow me get you talking about it. What? What? What's wrong with you, Tim? What? What have I done? Eh? What does she want from me? What does she want from me? Hey, is it the Did you not see her? She was standing here, and you were even interfering in her speech. Hey, I don't know. Hey, this is serious. What did she say to you? Where have you run, sir? Igwe. Where have you been going, sir? Igwe. Is she your good? Igwe. How about the Libya? Ah, Igwe, I'm going to go. I greet you. Igwe. Igwe. I am so happy that you came back this night to give me feedback after seeing off our men that are traveling to Maseno in search of the sons of Ngosu, mm -hmm. the rainmakers. May I know what happened? Uh, Igwe, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have escorted them. And uh, as we speak, they have embarked on the journey. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, did Amadi tell you when they are going to come back? Uh, Amadi didn't tell us exactly when they are going to come back, Igwe. But, uh, Igwe, something happened. Something happened that uh, I don't know how to handle it. Igwe, if you don't say, Igwe, 
Some men will say this kind of thing to me and I will begin to give it a second thought. That something came up and they are not able to handle it. I know you to be a different man entirely. In this kingdom you are a mighty man of valor. And there is surely nothing that will happen that you cannot handle. So may I know this thing that came up that you are not able to handle? Okay, Igwe. At the point of wishing them safe journey, mm. Amadi turned back and looked at us and said that if they do not come back after its market day, mm. market, mm -hmm. we should sacrifice an ego to an inanko. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the reason why I told us that I don't trust Amadi? I don't trust him. Why would you make a strange request from the king and elders and council? Why? Igwe, I would advise that we tread with caution. Amadi has become more than a seer now. He is now a mighty man of valor. And whatever he says must be taken seriously mm. so that we can heal this land. Oba. I am not surprised that you are defending him. I am not surprised at all. But I want to ask you an important question. If it so happened that after eight days, they are not back, where are we going to get this ego that we are going to sacrifice? Do you have an ego? Your Majesty, the important thing is for us to agree that an ego will be sacrificed. Once we agree on this, an ego for sure must be found in Nanko. Oh, but understand one thing. I was born in this kingdom. And I was raised by my father. He too taught me on the customs, the traditions of this land. And I am aware that we do not sacrifice eagles to deities in Nanko. Why would it start now? If we from the history of Nanko. We have never experienced such backwardness and poverty like we have. Mm. That is the problem. But it's worrisome. Mm. We have never sent our people in search of our own people yes. in a strange land. And this is the first time it is happening. Our people say that strange development requires strange sacrifices. Yeah, exactly. We are all trying to explain offer different explanations, but nobody seems to be answering the question. I ask this question again. If it so happened that after eight days, Amadi and his colleagues are not back in this kingdom, where do we get this ego that we are going to sacrifice? Somebody should be able to answer that question. If we, the most important thing is for us to accept that we will sacrifice that ego. Then, in Ananamko, Ego must be found. Our gods, our gods that will provide because of this land. I apologize if I should know you. The truth remains that I don't know you. And I am now asking you to introduce yourself to the king and tell me what you are doing before the throne this night. My name is Chiwendu, your majesty. I am Ibenebu's wife. Is it the same Ibenebu that we sent with other men of this kingdom in search of the sons of Mosu? Yes, your majesty. I am his wife. Are your parents from this kingdom? They are from this kingdom, your majesty. <laughs> you are a beautiful woman of this kingdom. Why is it that you have not been coming to the king? Why? Uh, please make yourself comfortable as you see it. I'm happy having you around. Um, thank you, your majesty. But I do not wish to be comfortable. Because our kingdom is going through a very terrible time. And that is the reason why we sent men of this kingdom, your husband inclusive, in search of the sons of Moshu that left the kingdom with the rain-making stone of this kingdom. We are very sure that they are going to find the sons of Moshu 
and they will come back to this kingdom with the remaking stone and the kingdom will be good again. Ugebo Yibo, the goddess of the stream of Nanko, has appeared to me twice, your majesty. I can't believe this. Ugebo Yibo? Omuma Uwaru? Ezewe in Nanko has appeared to you twice. Why would she appear to you? Your majesty, that is why I am here. I do not know why the goddess of Nanko should appear to me. I am not part of the politics of this kingdom. Eh? I am only a house. I wouldn't want us to go into all that. Can you tell me exactly what she told you when she appeared to you? She said that those who sit in position of authority should take a decision on how to solve the problems or else... Or else what? Or else what? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'll have to take my leave. No, Shiwendo, you don't have to leave like that. This is the very first time you are coming before the king, and why are you in a hurry to leave? Your husband is not in this kingdom as we speak. You can take advantage of that leave and stay with the king. Stay with the king. Stay with the king. Your Majesty, please, I do not understand. You have to explain what you mean, Your Majesty. The mere fact that you go boy, you boy, or Mama Uwaro, as a one young William Lina now, the mere fact that she appeared to you simply means you are a great woman. You are a woman with royal quality. And that is the reason why I want you to stay with the king. Don't ask me to explain what I mean by stay with the king because I know you know what it means to stay with the king. Decide here and now that we are going to stay with the king this night and you can be sure of one thing. The poverty that is now ravaging this kingdom will not touch you. And I want you to understand something. That this is the king. And you should trust the king to keep secrets. Whatever thing that we are going to start this night will be a secret between us until we die. Do not, do not actually try to, to do anything because even as we are speaking now, can you say you know what your husband is doing with all the women of easy virtue that are littered along the road to Masienu? It is possible that your husband is actually doing something with one of these women and you cannot be left. I want you to sit down so that we can start something tonight. You don't need to leave. Sit down. Why would she leave? She is a beautiful woman of my kingdom. Why have I not been seeing her all this while? And why is she not coming to the king? That kind of woman, it is only the kings that should stay with that kind of woman. Only the kings. Uh, I'm at the way. Sorry for asking you this question. My sister, do you know the exact mountain where they live? It is not good for us to talk while we walk. We will soon settle down to sleep. Then we can do all the talking we want. But to answer your question, the sons of Mosu live beyond the mountains of the west. But don't panic. Lords of the hills and the mountains will surely lead us to where they live. Oberche. Your status will increase right after this joining. And then you will no more desire the women of Akama. That woman that I found in Akama is better than all the women that I found before her. I can't continue searching. I already found the best. Please. Let us concentrate on this journey and stop thinking and talking about women. Namkwa is boiling as the immorality is gradually commencing in high places. Let us concentrate on healing our land.
Igwe. I am the chief guard to the king. Why is the king not sleeping? Is it anything I can handle for the king? I'm at your service, Onyeze. I have not managed to sleep. Sleep has vanished from my eyes. I am deeply troubled. Because I cannot understand this request by Yamadi that we should make a sacrifice of an eagle to a deity as elevated as Adenamko. I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry, Onyezi. A mere guard like me is not in a position to discuss that subject. No, Madoka, you are wrong. The kingdom is up in flames and every single individual must be involved. I know your father before he died. He was a great man of this kingdom. Now tell me, Madoka, in all the times you had private discussions with your father, did he ever tell you that we do sacrifice egos to deities in Nampo? Not to talk of a deity as exalted as an Nampo. Did your father ever mention anything like that? Why would Amadi appear from nowhere and is demanding that we sacrifice an ego to an Nampo? Onyeze, if you permit me, tomorrow I will go and fetch Okekako. He is the son of Okekako, the last priest of Anenanko. I think he should know the reason for that request. Why is it happening now? Why? Why would anybody ask me to sacrifice an ego? What is the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? It is obvious you're not a friendly spirit. Identify yourself. I ask you a question which you have not answered. What is the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? I am a man of Nankwa. I am equal to anything. I fear nothing. I tell you again, identify yourself or I will declare war against you. We don't want any trouble, okay? Mm. You don't want trouble? Why are you already in trouble? Who gave you the right to enter into my territory? This is Ubulu Kingdom. You cannot say it is your territory. I am Ubulu, the foundation ancestor of Ubulu land. You must not practice sorcery in my land. I have seers in Ubulu. If you need a seer to tell you what happened tomorrow, go to my seers in Ubulu. You shall see war if you attempt to inquire of the unknown in my land again. This is the first time I'm seeing a monster in my life face to face. It's alright. It's okay. Listen. I want you to know that distractions will come our way. We will confront anything we see. The lords of the mountains will definitely see us through. So what are you suggesting? That we stay here? We move.
are the ladies of Fabule. Who are you? What are you doing with us? It is known to all that the males of Fabule are beautiful. And it has been established that all of you are wonderful singers. And I am aware that your songs will always attract spirits. I came here this night to open your eyes. She came to open our eyes. What does that mean? Please explain your mission to us. Because we can see who we are to one all the way and I know you present something mightier than the news of our window. It's a new way you are here. When you say them, do realize that they are traveling with my blessing. Do not unleash your hostility on them. Let it be in the meeting of sense. Do you want to sing for someone? Who are these monkeys? When you say them, you will know them. They are experts in all chants and sorcery. And I can tell you, they are equal to a lot of things. Do not be hostile to them, for they know what you know. They are my men. And I plead with you, let it be a meeting of sons. Please, could you tell us your name? I am Ubeli. Gogoibo. The Omoa Waru of Nawo. The goddess of the stream of Nawo. And I plead with you, let it be a meeting for sons. Gogoibo, please don't go. We remain in Sofa Mundo and sing you a song. Tell him sorry in each of the occasions. Ask me why. Why? Because there is always a corpse for the poor. Even when there is no physical corpse, his stomach is enough corpse for him. It has always been a problem for the poor man to bury the corpse of his stomach. 
my brother, the youths of this kingdom that are involved in businesses are complaining of hard time. The authentic rain that brings prosperity, progress, and abundant harvest in this kingdom has ceased in the sky of an And I'm the one responsible. What? What did you just say? Yes! I'm the one responsible. The elders look down on me. Me. They refuse to come to me. <laughs> and I'm just watching them. I am the one holding the authentic rain. What you see is just a nonsensical rain that can only wash away good luck. I don't believe you. Okay, Kako. You are not a rainmaker and your family is not known for rainmaking. Is that what you think? Is that? Okay, now let me clear you. Everything you can ever seek for in this life is inside the ancient staff of Aninampo. Or have you forgotten that my father was the last chief priest of this kingdom? Have you? I am the only person in this kingdom that knows where the ancient staff is. Anyway, the staff is hanging in the air because the land has been desecrated. And as long as it remains in the air, poverty will continue to be the order of the day. No youth will progress. Even the fathers will not progress. If you are so sure you know what we can do to help, why not do it? Mm -mm. The whole kingdom is suffering and all men that can help are enjoined to do just that. I have decided to remain silent as long as Odera is still sitting on that throne. Huh. Odera is not my king. I don't know about you. He's not. Okay, Kaku. The throne is waiting for you. What did you just say? Are you not okay, Kaku? Yes, I am. And I will advise you to accord me some respect. Diwe is waiting for you. Who is Diwe? How many ways do you know? Ah, uh, come So, uh, 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 you've not been told, eh? Anyway, in case you don't know, I, okay, Kako, I am also an Igwe. So, which of the ways wants to see me? You can bear me witness that I've delivered the message to him. Yeah. Olaga, just look at him. Okay, Cap. How could you be that hostile to the palace guard? The Igwe may kill you if you fail to answer him. My friend, I did not say I will not answer the Igwe. I only wanted to prove my point. Yeah? Let's go. Where are you going? Let's go. Huh? Just let's go. Yeah? But I've not finished my drink. Just let's go. Yeah? If you waste time. Hurry, hurry. Why 
are they running like that? I wish you were not under attack. Don't you know, Kika? He's running so that the alcohol that he drank will ease up so he could go take another one. Why are you trying to link him up with drunkenness? Let me tell you. Hmm? Among all the men in this Nanko, Okekako is the one I admire most. Let's go. Hmm. You admire a drunk? Ego, you must be sick. I am not sick. There is something about him that I have not seen in others. Something like what? See, I've interacted with him a couple of times now. And I've noticed that he's not an ordinary man. He has some mystical powers. When I see men like that, I accord them with so much respect. Come now. Do you know that he has nothing and has no fish? Hmm. Do you know? Now I have the feeling that you've joined people of now to castigate him. Hmm? Listen to me and read my lips. Okay, Kaku is a seer, and seers are the future of this land. Bet me. I sent a palace guard to go and fetch you. And to the best of my knowledge, that guard I sent to go and fetch you is not back in this palace. How were you able to arrive before him? Simply means that that guard is a moron. For him to still be on the way, and we arrive here before him. I'm okay, Kako. The owner of an Anamqua kingdom. The one that is holding the most important assets of this kingdom inside out. How dare you? How dare you stand before me to say that you are the owner of Nampo? How dare you, Kokaku? Okay, you are a king. Yes, you are ruling because your father was the king before he died. And the corrupt elders of that time crowned you king the night your father died. What's your problem? What is your problem? You can allow me. Yes! Igwe Obudoye Delo very soon and you will understand that you don't have the blessings of the gods. Arrest this man. Ah! How dare you? You are meant to obey orders, no doubt. But you should learn how to obey reasonable orders. I'm the one holding the staff of an Anawa. How can you raise your dirty hands up against me? Whose hands are you calling dead? My hands? Or what? So you don't know? You don't know that you have dirtier hands than you can ever think of? Anyway, you, you have not said the reason you called me. Get out. Leave this palace immediately and in your life. Do not ever think of coming back to this palace. Now leave. I am not going to forget that, you know. But I still tell you, Obodoye Delo, one day, you shall need me, you shall need my assistance, and I will decide not to be available. I may be small in this kingdom from the look of the people, but I tell you, I am mightier than you think. Buda Yedelo. Get out! Obudo Yedelo. Why is he daring me? Okay, Kaku, the son of Okay, Kaku. I hate the maidens of Abunde. They are so annoying. These were the same maidens singing behind us before. Yeah. How did they get in front and how did they even get to know our names? 
Or better, their plan is to make us turn. And once we do that, our souls will be transferred immediately. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, do not turn. Men of Namco must remain focused. <laughs> I'm the only one that's married here. Let me turn around and let him explain the meaning of that song. No, 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 no. Nobody does that. Huh? Do not turn around. Whatever they are seeing, whatever they are singing is rubbish. Total rubbish. The moment we turn around, we are dead. They're talking about my wife. She's feeling fine. She's feeling fine. On top of the world. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. I don't mind if you can give us some privacy. I'm sorry, my dear Palaska. You can't separate my friend and I. Say whatever you want to say. Don't worry. Listen to what he has to say. Meet me up. You've succeeded in separating my friend and I. May I know what you have to say? I'm not just a palace guard. I'm a trusted guard that the king sends on important errands. So show me some loyalty and do what I ask you to do. Now I know that you don't have anything to say. Ego, wait! You know my name? How did you get to know my name? Ego, why, why would you be asking such a question now? Ego, do you know how many men that are dying to have you as dears? See, Ego, you are beautiful. Mm. Ego, you see, you have all the qualities that no other girl in this kingdom has. Do you in any way know who my father is? Ego, I know your father now. Benebu the hunter. He's one of the strongest men you have in this kingdom. Good. I will pretend I didn't hear this and let it not happen again. The next time you stop me to say this kind of thing again, I bet you my father will hear it and you know the implications. Rubbish. Ego, you're beautiful. Look at this. Just take a look at yourself. Fooling around the king. You don't know that you're just an ordinary servant to the king. Hey. You just pray that you don't fall into trouble. Hey, oh, money. shut up! Hmm. 
I am doing everything possible to understand you. Why are you so angry with me? Why? Do you want the king to kill me? Eh? Okay, Kako. Why would you insult the king of the land? Is that your problem? <laughs> you are asking me, is that my problem? Is that? Anyway, I've told you before and I'm still repeating it again. Odera is not our king. Odera is just Odera in a village. Nede nothing. It's not our king. Are you mad? Okay, Kak. How could you say such nonsense? Eh? If you are not mad. Okay. Let me ask you. For how long do you think you can deny a child his right? For how long? Odera is not the rightful owner of the title he's holding. Very soon, the rightful owners will emerge and take their title. There and then, you will understand the reason I said Odera is not a king. You understand that I am not mad. I'm making sense. I'm a eh? He's not okay. a king. Okay. Now tell me, may I know the reason you say that Odera is not our king? Thank you. Now you're talking. Have you forgotten uh, that there are noble men of this kingdom that were sent to go and fetch the source of Mosu, the rainmaker? Have you? Let us concentrate and think of those noble men. As soon as they come back, you will understand the reason I say that Odera is not the king. You will see everything happening. Omuno Yebo Odera, Odera be nobody in Odera, in Odera, nothing in my village. Eh? Let's go. Let us go. Go to be here. What kind of person is this? Let us go. Everybody in this village knows that Odera is not a qualified king. You are the only one talking about Odera, Odera. Every day Odera, the owner, then nothing. Let's go. Odera. I stay there now. Every day Odera. Odera is nothing. Where are you coming from? You go, you sent me to go and bring Okekako. Okay, I asked you to go and get Okekako. Okay, yes, you go. So where is Okekako? Okay, I met him and his friend drinking at the village square. I delivered the message to him, but he refused to follow me. You delivered the message? Yes, you go. You go, as I'm talking to you now, they're still there drinking. They're still there drinking? Yes, you go. Are you listening to what this animal is saying to the king? They are still dead drink. Now look at me. Go to the palace guard room and lock up yourself. I wouldn't want anybody to touch you. Go to the guard room and lock up yourself. If they give you water, do not drink. And if they serve you food in the garden for your benefit, do not eat. Get out of this place! Did, did, you, did, did, did you hear what that is? That, that, did you hear the, the, the rubbish? They are still there drink. That's the drink. In all the years I was banished from Nankwa, I have come to know and understand the bushes and the forest. If you listen to me, this mission will be successful. You are the one in charge of this mission. If there is anything you want us to know that would bring contribution to, this, to the success of this mission, say it. We are listening. Good. We have come to the territory of Abunde. 
I'm sure you all must have heard of Abunde, but none of you has ever been here. Wait a minute. I want to get one thing straight here. Is this the same Abunde? Where women walk and marry the men, while the men will just be sitting at home, eating and drinking? Same Abunde. I will also tell you that the women of Abunde are very beautiful. Yes. I also heard that the women of Abunde are wonderful singers. My mother told me that she once met a woman that sang for two complete days without stopping. I am not surprised. Women of Abunde are equal to anything. So I would like to know the reason for all these warnings. Apart from the things I have told you about them, I must also tell you this. They are evil. This is the month of their masquerade called Obakotazu. During this period, men are not supposed to look back. Women are exempted because they are the custodians of the masquerade. So I charge you as the one in charge of this mission. No matter what happens, do not look back. Eh? Women are the custodians of their masquerade. This town must be evil. I told you they are not normal people. Follow me as I walk. You will hear noises. You will hear lots of strange things. Dangerous things will happen behind you and around you. But no matter what happens, do not look back. But what happens if one does? You want to know what will happen? Yes. The soul of the person will be transferred to the shrine of Obakutazu. The corpse of the person will not be buried. Let us concentrate on this mission so that such fate will not befall any man of Nankwa. And like I said, do not look back. Follow me. that those who sit in position of authority should take a decision on how to solve the problems or else... Or else what? <laughs> Beautiful woman of my land. She left the presence of the king without answering the king. How am I going to get the beautiful woman of my land to ascend to the king? <laughs> uh, to the king. The point now is that I don't even know what my offense is. Why would the king ask me to go and lock myself up? I was giving you a sign to shut up your mouth. But you didn't understand me. You are lying to the king. What do you mean by I'm lying to the king? How could you open your mouth and say that I'm blind to the king? You were asked to go and call the Kekak. And you went to somewhere else after delivering the message to them. Eh. So this is what you told the king, right? Eh? How could you be in the palace and know that I, I, went, I went somewhere else after I delivered the message to Kekak? I didn't tell the king anything. The person you were asked to call arrived at the palace before you. The king has already dismissed him before you came back. So how can you convince me? or any other person that you delivered the message and came back immediately. Look at it. Just take a look at yourself. Fooling around the king. You don't know that you're just an ordinary servant to the king. You just pray that you don't fall into trouble. Hey, Mama, oh, shut up! Ah, she was right. Was right. Ah. Finally, I've run into trouble. Yee! Who is the she that was right? She she told me. Hey, who is the she that was ah. right? Ah! The mere fact that we go boy you boo, on my waro, as a one young willing in an The mere fact that she appeared to you simply means you are a great woman. You are a woman with royal quality. And that is the reason why I want you to stay with the king. Don't ask me to explain what I mean by stay with the king because I know you know what it means to stay with the king. 
decide here and now that we are going to stay with the king this night. And you can be sure of one thing. The poverty that is now ravaging this kingdom will not touch you. And I want you to understand something. That this is the king. And you should trust the king to keep secrets. Whatever thing that we are going to start this night will be a secret between us until we die. There is surely something that you are hiding from me. And I am asking you now to tell me what it is. I finally confronted the king. And I now know why this kingdom is sinking every day. I am lost. You confronted the king and now you know why the kingdom is sinking? What did he tell you? I mean, what do you know? When the head of a family wallows in immorality, the family suffers. When the head of a kingdom indulges in immorality, the kingdom comes to a standstill. That is what I know. That is what I found out. What you're saying here is very strong. And it can only mean one thing. You went to the king and caught him with a woman. So, who is the woman? Mm -hmm. I do not wish to discuss the king. But now I know why people of this land do not regard him as the king. Are you not going to at least tell me the foundation of your allegation? I mean, we are friends and you can always confide in me. I bow in greeting for the women of our land. We bow in greetings too. So what do we owe the honor of this visit? The king has asked me to come and call you. The king sends for me? Yes. Why? You have the opportunity of coming with me to hear the king. I don't know his reason. Permit me to take my leave. The king is waiting. I don't know what you think, but I do not wish to see the king. Huh? How could you say a thing like that? Do you know what it means to be invited by the king? I'm advising you now to start going immediately. Manari, you don't understand. I don't understand what? I want you to open your mouth and tell me what I want to hear. What you want to hear? Do you realize you are standing before the king of this kingdom and that I can order your execution and it will be carried out immediately? Do you realize that? I put it to you, Dera. You are talking nonsense. Now, both of you, I order you to leave this palace this minute, or I am going to stab you to death. Mark my words. Nothing will happen. Leave. Your problem is that you are a fool. Am I the one you are calling a fool to my face? Am I? As long as you refused to release the throne peacefully, we are going to retrieve it violently. Are you reduced to dust? Did you see me fall on the ground? No, I'm just returning from the message you sent me. I saw nothing, Your Majesty. Even in death, those evil men have continued their plan to overthrow me. Who are the people, Your Majesty?
Where is the woman I asked you to go and bring for the king? Your gift was presented and your message delivered. I'm sure she will be here soon. I am going to shame those evil men. They have no right whatsoever to square up to the king. I am going to deal with them. I am the king. And I must always have my way. Why are we standing in one place? The evil maidens of Abunde have manifested. Like I told you, they are the custodians of the masquerade in this place. We cannot ignore them. But you said we can't turn. And I am still saying that we cannot turn. We must not turn. Whatever happens behind us, whatever we hear, whatever distraction, do not look back. I repeat, do not ever look back. Men of Nankwa. You have not impressed me as the king. She wonder why would you say thing like that? I am your king. You should be happy that your king found you irresistible. You should be. Your Highness, I want to ask this question. Please, do you truly desire me? Yes. Do you truly want my body? Yes. The wife of a man that holds you in high esteem. The man of this land that, that has surrendered under your supremacy, your highness. Shimondo, the simple fact that I asked you to come into my room this afternoon and you agreed, it means you are standing. It means you are a great woman. And it means you are an obedient woman of Nampo. And that is the reason why I want us to get involved. 
This thing can happen between us this afternoon and nobody will know about it. In fact, I'll make you one promise. If you do this thing with me this afternoon, I will make you the leader of all the women in Nago. You will be the one controlling all of them. <laughs> Your Highness, even Ugebo Yibo has made me this offer. But it did not move me. Because that is not my problem, Your Highness. My problem is that this kingdom is going down and I want us to revive it. I want this kingdom to be prosperous again, Your Highness. I am not interested in politics. I don't want anything. I don't want, I don't want any position. I am happy being a housewife, Your Highness. What I really understand is that this wonderful promise I made now didn't move you. It did not move me, Your Highness. But I, 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 are you trying to compare my promise with that of Ugaboibo? You shouldn't. Her promise is just from a goddess that if she decides not to fulfill the promise tomorrow, you won't even know where to see her, to hold her responsible. My own promise is different because I am going to cover my promise with royal oath. I will put an oath in my own promise. Okay, let us forget about everything. You, you, what I'm saying, you don't like it. Tell me what you want me to do for you and I will do it. I want you to come, come into this bed. Please, tell me, tell me what you want, I will do it. Your Highness, I make you this promise today. I will not tell anybody about this discussion. Definitely, I know you are not a fool to tell anybody. I know you will not say it. But please, do this for me. Kill this lust inside of you, Your Highness, before you destroy this kingdom with your own hands. Please, be cool, Your Highness. Please. Hey, hey! Don't, 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 don't even think about it. What are you trying to do? You want to walk out on me? Do you know it is an abomination for anybody to walk out on the king? It, it, it can happen in other kingdoms. People will just be walking out on kings. Here in Nampo, it is a taboo. And why would you elect to inflict that kind of abomination on your head walking out on the king instead of doing what the king wants you you want to work out why your highness as we speak now noble men of our land are traveling beyond evil lands and forests at the risk of their own lives only to salvage this kingdom from the ruins that has befallen it my husband is one of those noblemen, Your Highness. I want to ask, does it not bother you about their fate? If they will survive? If anything will befall them on the way? If they will come back successfully? Why are you busy trying to trick a woman that sees you and looks up to you as a god? Why are you trying to trick me into sleeping with you, Your Highness? And now I know what the problem is. Okay, is that why you have been resisting me? Because you see me as a god. I am not a god. I am a human being like you. Is it because I am king that you, you, you see me as a god? I am not god. My name is Odera. King Odera of Nampo. Normal man that eats normal things like you. Can we please come to this bed, please? Can we please? I am not god. Hi. Why is she running away? Why is she running away? We must adhere to the warning of the goddess. The meeting must be in the sons. Our target is to make them turn. So that their soul shall be transferred to the shrine of Wakutas. What is happening if they fail to turn? Do you think you can force them to turn? We must take a decision. If, if we, we try, try the option of songs and they will, then we must, must apply the patterns of violence. I disagree with you. The, the goddess that spoke was very clear. clear. We, we cannot, cannot apply any particles, particles of violence here. I stand, I stand here in the forest, forest of Abunde, and, and I see immorality in Nango. The, the immorality is so strong that it will make the man to turn. I'm, I'm going, going to raise a song, a song, a song of immorality. I need, I need to, to certainly make, make the man to the town.
I hate the maidens of Abunde. They are so annoying. These were the same maidens singing behind us before. Yeah. How did they get in front and how did they even get to know our names? Or better, their plan is to make us turn. And once we do that, our souls will be transferred immediately. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, do not turn. Men of Namco must remain focused. I'm the only one that's married here. Let me turn around and let him explain the meaning of that song. No, 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 no. Nobody does that. Huh? Do not turn around. Whatever they are seeing, whatever they are singing is rubbish. Total rubbish. The moment we turn around, we are dead. They are talking about my wife. Let's She's feeling fine. She's feeling fine. On top of the world. What do I don't know why you will say things like that. The important thing here is that you have laid a solid foundation for yourself. And based on that alone, I can tell you that the time is coming in this kingdom. When all the women of Namco shall come to you and beg. <laughs> why would they come to me and beg? Very simple. You have stayed with the king. You have played with the king. And the king appreciates you. None of them ever stayed with the king. It means you have what they don't have. And I want you to understand something, Shumendo. I am going to make you very relevant in this kingdom. <laughs> I know why you're saying all this. Why? You're saying this because you think you got me easily. But I put it to you that you have not seen anything. I don't know why you will say that again. We spend the better part of this evidence playing here in my room, secretly. I have seen everything. I have felt everything and... Do you think there is anything about you that I have not seen already? Read my lips. I like your lips. You have not seen anything. <laughs> Why would you say that beautiful woman of my kingdom? Igwe. Was that a dream? I thought I had sorted them already. I practically saw you kissing the throne, Your Majesty. Now I order you to shut up! 
You saw what? Don't ever repeat this anywhere. If I hear this anywhere, you will regret the very day you were born. Get out! Igwe. You saw me kissing the throne. Give it to me in my dream. She must give it to me in real life. <laughs> Beautiful woman of my land. She must give it to me. Are you not going to tell me why he called you? Tell me whatever happened in the palace. I mean, we are friends and we shouldn't hide anything from each other. All I can say is, Nanko is under a curse. <laughs> but that is no news now. Everybody knows that Nanko is under a curse. That's why the elders sent the noble ambassadors to fetch the sons of Mosu the Rainmaker. Why are you talking as if you are new in this kingdom? See, I do not want to discuss the king. Alright? All I know is that Odera, who is now the king of Nanko, is not qualified to be king. What did he tell you? I mean, what happened in the palace? Please, I want to concentrate and think about my husband. You are welcome. Thank you. You said you want to see me urgently. Is anything the matter? Could you please give me privacy? Igwe. Oba. You are the seer of Nampo. Many people may have different opinions on the efficacy of your powers. But as far as I am concerned, you are the seer of Nanko. And each time we are confused over any subject, we fall back on you. Thank you very much for your kind sentiments. I appreciate it. In the last couple of days, I mean, ever since we sent out our search party to go and fetch the sons of Muzu, 
the Remeka. I have been having series and series of dangerous dreams. I called you here to know what is going on. I see. I see an immoral dream. Is that what you call dangerous dreams? Immoral dreams. What do you mean by immoral dreams? Oba. You are the king. And it would be my pleasure to hear what you saw in your dreams. Few days ago, I came out from my house to sit on this throne. And then I noticed that the throne has broken. I looked under the throne and lo and behold, maggots have eaten the better part of the throne. I wasn't able to comprehend what that means. I was confused then. Then, today, in one moment of nap, as I sat on this throne, I closed my eyes to sleep. I saw Ubi and Musu. The same men that my father killed for political insubordination attacked me violently with the sole aim of pushing me off this throne. I woke up again and I realized I was dreaming. And I called you here, Oba. What is the meaning of all these revelations? Hmm. Hmm. This search party we sent out is having hectic time along the forest of Abunde. Oh, but I want you to talk about my throne. Why are you mentioning men that are working so hard for their reputations? Tell me about my throne. Tell me about my dream. Your dreams have a direct link to the mission. The men are not working for their reputations. They are working for the entire people of Nanko. Oba, could you please inquire about my throne? Because it is clear to me that the dreams and the revelations are all talking about this throne. I want you to leave Amadi and his group. Because as far as I'm concerned, those men are on their own. Tell me about my throne. If I should tell you the king, you are sitting on a stolen throne. How would you react? Stolen throne? What do you mean, stolen throne? All the spirits of Nanko are accompanying the messengers we sent to face the sons of Mosu. I cannot say anything further without them. We must wait for them. And I repeat, we must wait for them.
These men are daring me. I am the king. And once a king, always a king. I am going to grind all of them to a halt. All of them. My neck is beginning to pain me. No, Agozi. Hang on. You are walking with the spirits of Nankwa. You must carry yourself like one who's moving with the spirits. Then we can sit down here and rest without turning our necks. Eh? I still say no, Agozi. We will not rest until we get to the boundary between Abunde and Itele people. If you sit down now to rest and you turn around mistakenly, you know what will happen to you. Your soul will immediately be transferred to the shrine of Abakutazo. We move forward. Amadi! Ibebu! Agozi! Obeche! Ifono na tonu kenu Odinu kani Lekene na nyanazu Kanyinyu nifuno na Do you know how many times we try to make them turn? Do you know how many times? And since then, we've not been able to make even one of them turn. And that shows me they are mighty at us. How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that those men from Nango are mightier than the men of Abunde? If you believe that they are not mightier than the men of Abunde, then give me one reason why we've not been able to make even one of them turn. They are mightier than us and it's obvious. You will know them when you see them. For they are experts in all chains and sorceries. And I can tell you, they are equal to a lot of things. Do not be hostile to them, for they know what you know. They are my men. And I plead with you, let it be a meeting of sorts. I'm, I'm going, going to wait, wait for, for them. them. 
ever since I saw that girl, she has remained the only thing I'm thinking. Just wait a minute. Are you actually telling me that the reason why you delayed is because you ran into a woman on your way? I had a dream. Where the king told us that our services is no longer needed in this palace. And he violently asked us to leave. That's a useless dream. Why are you making reference to it? I wanted to plan on time ahead though. Because the king will ask us to leave this palace one day. And you need to settle down in case it happens urgently. What makes you think that Ego, the daughter of Ibn Ebu, the great hunter of Nankwa, will listen to you? It is true that we both work in this palace. But the bigger truth remains that I'm a man of many ways. When I desire something, I must get it. <laughs> I will be alive and see how you are going to achieve this one. It's night. Let's go and sleep. I defy the horror of the night to come and see you. Why did you send for me? I sent for you because I like you. I can't believe you. You asked me to come and see you just to tell me that you like me. You're not serious. I am not a pretender like uh, Odera that is now parading himself as the king. I say things the way I see them, the way I feel. You know, your father is not at home right now, so I know you are free. What do you mean by that? That I'm free? Very soon, the position of the king of an Anaupo kingdom will change. I'm talking about a fundamental change. And at the end of this change, you will mostly be favored. I don't understand. What do you mean by the position of the will change? Any man who is destined to be a king must be a king. I am the sole custodian of the staff of an Anangpo kingdom. And you are from the lineage of the kings. Very soon, something that has been hidden in this kingdom will blow open. You are still confusing me. I I want you to make me one promise. That if finally it happens that you find yourself favored, you are going to look my way and marry me. Don't tell me that you've been nursing the thought of having me as your wife. You're a great woman of this kingdom. And I Oke Kaku, the second, son of Oke Kaku, the first, is equally a great man. Very soon, the position of the king will change. And all I'm asking is for you to marry me. I will understand you first before I answer that. I know you like me very much, and you cannot deny it. You like me to the extent of defiling the horror of the night, just to come here and see me. Just do what your heart is telling you. Very soon the position of the king will change. And I want you to marry me if it happens. Are you truly a seer? I'm the holder of the staff of an Anangpa kingdom. I'm more than a seer. Tell me, will you marry me? Will you? We are now in the wilderness of Italy. 
Hopefully, tomorrow evening, we shall be in Omasienu. That is where the sons of Mosu live. They live like kings there. I united millions of years ago, and that urine forms what I call Amune River. You are here in my vicinity, and I came to welcome you into my kingdom. And who are you, please? I am Mbebebe, the source of all lupins. And you must taste that liquid before you step into this. Taste the liquid? What does that mean? My, my urine. On your way, way to Amasien, you, you have, have to cross Amune River. river. And, and if, if you have, have to cross Amune river, river safely, you must taste my urine. You must taste that liquid. liquid. <laughs> Impossible. Men who survive the evil maidens of Abunde can always survive an old woman. <laughs> Is that what you think? That is what we think. Oh. That Mbelege is an old woman. Nothing but an old woman. You are in the wilderness of Italy. And in this wilderness, Everything is possible. And why are you threatening us? We are noble men of Nankwa, embarking on a noble mission to save our land. Grant us permission to move forward so we do not have to explore the options before us. This is why I love the men of Nankwa. They are always full of themselves. Young men, do you have what it takes to be at Omasien without crossing the Amune River? On behalf of the ancestors of Namkwa, I make this request. Hold on to what you have, and we shall hold on to what we have. We do not want to fight, and we do not want to wrestle. You have refused to taste my dream. And, and that, that means only one thing. You, you dare me. me. We, we shall, shall see. see. How on earth would she want us to drink her urine? There is only one thing on my mind. I want to prove to that old woman and to whatever she represents. We can get to Amasienu without crossing Amune River. And how are we going to do that? Ibenegu, men who are men do not talk too much. I have not managed to sleep again. You must go and get me that apostle of confusion this minute. Onyeze, who is the apostle of confusion? Okekako, the son of Okekako, the priest of Nankwa, is the apostle of confusion. Go to his house and bring him here this night. Igwe. They call him drunk for nothing. He is not a drunk. He knows 
is exactly what he is doing. And I'm going to deal with him. I sent you to come and call me because he's planning to kill me. Now let me ask you, do you believe that Odera can kill a man who is the custodian of the staff of an Anenaupo? I can tell you immediately that the king wants to see you desperately. He knows that you are very important in this kingdom and he will not do you any harm. 
Tell me the truth. What exactly happened in the palace? And why are you here? The king asked me to come and beg you to come to him tonight. Ever since your last visit, the man has not slept. I have the solution. Okay. Tell him to drink one full cup of cooked plantain leaves. And he will sleep for two days. He wants to see you. Are you aware that Odera is a fake king? A fake Igwe? Are you? I'm not aware of that. Tell him I will see him after sunset tomorrow. Better. Wait. Also tell him to prepare something for me. Otherwise, I will not talk if I come. I will do as you ask. One more thing. The day is coming in an Ananko when you will be with the king and something strange will strike him. He may die at the process. But do not panic or scream because his exit is for the good of this kingdom. What you are saying is sacrilegious. Men do not wish the king death. Your king and not mine and can never be my king. Menango. Men who wish other peoples not to sleep can never have sleep. I found you more appealing than the rest of your colleagues. And that's why I decided to settle for you. I look into your eyes and I see a man who has a wife at home. Are you going to deny this? We are planning on our future. And I think that should be your concern. Why are you allowing your mind to water? You are exhibiting the traits of the men of Nampo. You just asked me a question whereas you've not answered mine. If you realize I have a wife, what would you do? I will ask you to murder your wife for my sake. Why are you talking like that? Or would you want me to kill? I am going to give myself to you. But you have to promise me that when I do, you will keep your wife for my sake. Chiwendo. That's the name of my wife. She's the wife of my youth. The mother of my lovely daughter. She remains one of the best women that ever lived in Nankwa. She's my future. Which makes it very impossible for me to kill her. You're saying all this because you've not graced the woman in me. I promise you that I'm going to give it to you. But you have to look into my eyes and promise me that when I do, she will murder you back for my sake. Please. I don't like the looks on your face. I promise to give it to you like no other woman has given it to you in your whole life. Please kill your wife for my sake, please. Can you say you know what your husband is doing with all the e women of easy virtue that are littered along the road to Masienu? It is possible that your husband is actually doing something with one of these women and you cannot kill him. This is why I did not support my husband's inclusion. This woman that wants my husband to murder me. Mother, you just had the might me. All is not way with my father. Come, come, come. What is it? What did you hear? I saw him in the sense of my father. They said he slept with all of them and refused to keep to his promise. 
then you're beating him so mercilessly. I was actually on the verge of killing him before the goddess of Nauko came to his rescue. I tried telling them that my father is a responsible man and is not into women, but they didn't even look at me. Ego, you can never tell. Maybe your father has changed. Because I also had a similar dream. And this all leads to one thing. That your father is messing around with one of those women that litter along the road leading to Amasin. So what do we do? What do we do <sighs> about it? You see why I did not support that trip, you see it? Mother, what do we do about it? Don't watch. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Go and sleep, go. Everything is okay. Okay. Don't worry. You see it? He's cheating on me. <laughs> He's cheating on me. Okay, Kaku. I called you here because it is not very clear to me that I need your help. And I'm asking for your help. Have you arranged for the ego that is to be sacrificed to Aninaoko? The eagle is ready. And if you want the eagle, I can give you the eagle today so you can proceed to Aninaoko and sacrifice the eagle. I will talk. But before I talk, there must be a third party. Without a third party, I will not open my mouth. Okay, Kaku, why are you making reference to a third party? I don't need any third party. This is supposed to be a private discussion between you and the king. Why are you talking about a third party? I need a third party. How dare you? Who called you? How dare you budging on me like this? Now you get out. Hold get on. out! Hold on. Just hold on and listen to what I have to say. He entered here by the powers of the gods, not by his powers. He entered here just to be the third party. We do not need the ego anymore. Because the men we sent for that search have passed the evil kingdom of Abunde. We need a bigger sacrifice. Bigger sacrifice? What do you mean by bigger sacrifice, Okay, Kako? You must return the stolen mandate. The kingship of an Anaupo kingdom must return to where it should be. Obu de Wedel. That brat. I hate him so much. If care is not taken, I am going to personally assassinate him and wait for the gods. Ah. Ah. We are now in Amasin. We will find a place to rest. Tomorrow, we will go in search of the sons of Musu. The man is always the man. Rainmakers are peacemakers. Water has no enemy. The man is always the man. Look, we have had enough troubles already. Can you please permit us to continue this journey in peace? Please, I beg you, let us go. The people that killed the rain maker has killed their rain. The same people that ruined the stream returned early in the morning to drink from the same stream. He sounded like, like someone who is familiar with Nako. No! 
if he was familiar with Nanko, he wouldn't have disappeared. He would have waited to guide us. Is this not my father? The former that did not show his face was also the real maker of Nankwa. Okekako, the son of Okekako, had already told him how they stole the mandate. The authentic king of Nankwa is here in Omasienu. Install the right man and the reign of riches shall return to Nankwa. That was my father. Yes. Who's, who's the father? That was my father. You know, now that I have seen my father, I don't know, but somehow, I feel strong again. Yes. You better woo. I'm Andy. I go here. I'm here. Or better. We rest today. Tomorrow, we will surely locate the sons of Wosu. Follow me. Do not kill a man that said nothing. I'm sorry, the revered goddess of Nanko. But I am not planning to kill anybody. What do you have in your hand? You have cola nut in your hand. You have already called the name of your husband into the cola nut. And you are moving towards the shrine of Nanko to throw the cola nut into it. You are automatically asking the gods to judge your husband. I came to ask you why. It was revealed to me that my husband is messing with a girl in one of the bushes leading to Omasienu. It was also revealed to my daughter. She saw an angry mob of women he cheated chasing him. I want to go and end it now. Why will he cheat on me? It has been revealed to him equally. How you have been sleeping with Odera. Why must a woman of Nankwa destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage? By opening up to a man who is not her husband. Me. Hey, God forbid. Me sleep with the king. I have never slept with any man that is not my husband. <laughs> Manipulation. Forces that are mightier than you are manipulating you. The reason is to prevent you from seeing what is coming to you. Say no to these enemies of yours and live to be happy. Uh, um, please, Goddess of Nanko, are you saying that my husband has been faithful all those days he traveled? Throw the collar not. Your husband is too principled for the kind of unfounded revolution that you are having. Go back and do realize that you are destined to be part of the future of Nangwa. Do not kill a man that said nothing. Chiwendo, that's the name of my wife. 
She's the wife of my youth. The mother of my lovely daughter. She remains one of the best women that ever lived in Nagua. She's my future. Which makes it very impossible for me to kill her. I don't know why we're standing here. We are meant to continue moving forward until we get the sons of Wosu we seek. Why are we suddenly idling like women? Your father told you that the king of Nakwa is here in Omaseno. Does that mean that one of the sons of Wosu is the authentic king or are you the king? Ibenebu, I do not know anything about the kingship of Nakwa. That is not my problem. My problem is to find the sons of Ngosu, the greatest rainmaker of Nankwa, and bring them back home. That's all. So we keep moving. I have wanted us to discuss this a bit better. But now that it has come up again, I want us to trash it. Trash what topic? We had your father when he spoke. We know you are the next king of Nankwa. Promise us that when you are finally the king, you are not going to forget all the sacrifices. We made to that. The, the dangerous road brought us to Asilo. Promise us. Alright, if that will make you happy, fine. But we will trust that when we get to Nangwa. And remember, we still have all the spirits to confront on our way back. So we need all the concentration we can get. Let us move forward. Oh, good. Can we go? Huh? The day is coming in Omasi Enu when you shall see me. Follow me close as you see me, and I shall take you to the man you seek. We must follow this woman. Benebu, are you out of your mind? Huh? We're meant to be going that way. That is our route. How can you say we should abandon our route and start following a woman? No, she's not just a woman. She's a goddess of the stream of Nakwa. And she will take us to the man we seek. I know what I'm talking about. Come. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Where's the woman? You caused this. I don't know why you decided to argue with me when I told you let's follow this woman. Betwati Benemu, are you sure that the woman we saw was the goddess of Nangwa? You want to doubt me? Listen, I have seen this woman before, and she told me that there will be a day in Umasenu where we shall see her, and once we see her, we shall follow her. She will take us to the men we seek. I saw this woman. I recognize her. I asked you to follow me, but you refused. You started arguing with me. Now the question is, how do we get to see the men we seek? Yeah, I got to say, I'm going to go to the boys. I must say immediately that this is rude. Maidens of Amatelu should know that women should genuflate before men. Why are you passing as if you didn't see us? 
Assumption is nothing in the world of mortals. But assumption is a serious offense in the spirit world. So why would men of Nako assume that we are made in Sofo Masiemi? Is it because we are taking a walk in your Masiemi? Okay, 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 okay. You win. Huh? You win. We accept that you are not human. We need your help. We are searching for MNK and Wozo. The sons of Mosu, the greatest rainmaker of all times. Can you please help us? You were asked to follow. Why didn't you follow? That's exactly what we were talking before you arrived. The goddess of the stream of Nakwa told me there will be a day in Umaseno where we shall see her. And once we see her, we shall follow her. I saw that. I recognized her. I told my partners, but they refused. They started arguing with me. The, the bottom line is, we have lost the goddess. And you've totally lost the clue. Namco will continue to wallow in poverty. Until you do the right thing. Wait, 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 please, wait, don't go. Can you please tell us what the right thing is? Brothers, let us not play the fool for the second time. Can we follow these people? Let's go. Go on, go on, go on. you do what you were asked to do please pardon us we are very sorry Ibn Abu told us what you instructed but before we could decide on what to do you had disappeared please pardon us help us find the people we seek when people look in the mirror they see themselves the time is coming now for when men will look into the mirror and they'll be seeing strange things do you want to say strange things? Your promise to me was that you shall lead us to the man we seek. We want to see the man that will heal our land. We don't want to see strange things. Look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I do not know the man. I'm sure he's strange to all of us. Take a look. He lives close to Omasi Lake. He is the one you seek. And I am asking you to leave immediately. Oh, okay, okay. Please, 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 please don't, don't go. Thank you very much. How do we get to Omasi Lake? You will surely see a villager that will take you to Omasi Lake. Do you realize? That the authentic king that was savage now called is Zeng Omasiyo. And whatever you do, must have the resemblance. And all the attributes of reality. Please, can you tell us who the king is, so that we can start in time to accord him the respect he deserves? The staff of Aninaoko is hanging in the air. When the rainmaking stones gets to Nanko, the storm is going to come down from the air. And then shall you know the game. And you, what is your problem? Can you, can huh? you imagine? What is your problem? Why are you always too forward? What is your business with the next king? Tell me. I want to personally know who the authentic king is. So that I can start in time to accord him the respect he deserves. Right. I want to be part of the man that will change the course of history for the better. Yes. Can you hear this? It has been revealed to him equally how you have been sleeping with Odera. Why must a woman of Nanko destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage? by opening up to a man who is not a husband. 
Why do you seek to do this? You are the chief custodian of our cultural traditions and, and values. And, and that is the same reason why consistently I ask you to give me something I know you can give me with ease. She wants to listen to me. As far as this kingdom is concerned, I am the king. And I have the final say. Yeah. You sit in judgment to judge those that destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage. Because I am the king. So why then do you want to destroy the sanctity of our traditional contents and values? Why? <laughs> she wonder why are you bringing too many diversions into this very small discussion we are holding this afternoon? There's something I want you to understand. I must have you. You must have me. How? How will you have me? Eh? Will you seize me and rape me? How can you open your mouth and say that you, you, you must have another man's wife? In one of my dreams, Chiwendo, I had you. Yes. And you opened this your mouth in that dream and told me that you enjoyed what we did. Fiakwa! I brought to Fiakwa no mel. I brought to Fiakwa. It's not to Fiakwa. I want you to oblige me this privilege. Make this decision. And I am going to swear on the throne of Nankwa Kingdom that it is going to be a blissful experience for you. In fact, on that throne, I swear again. It is going to remain a secret, top secret, between you and I until we die. You know, from now, I will not hold my mouth when I am talking to you. I will not watch what I say. Really? Yes. Because I have just noticed that you always swear on the throne of Nanko. Even when you are planning abomination. It only means that you do not have value for this throne. Why would you say abomination? This man that is sitting here with you is the king. I am the ultimate decision maker. I am the person that is going to decide what abomination is and what abomination is not. How can you say that I don't know the value of the throne? Whereas I sit on the throne as the king. Hmm. Why would you say that? Hmm. The throne is not yours. The throne is for the people of Namco. And now I have agreed with what they say. That you are an incompetent king. Yes. And for the mere fact that I have arrived at that, at that decision, you are going to leave my compound now. Leave my husband's compound, please. Do you have another visitor? Hmm. Or are, are you talking to me? If you don't leave this compound now, I will get up and shout. Uh, I will scream. Oh. Yeah, well. You want to do what? You want to shout? You don't have respect. Eh? You don't want to go? Okay. Let me. Hey, hey, hey. You want to shout? Because we are we are reaching something that you can you can easily arrange here. Your husband is not in town. We are in this thing. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, we're in this thing. It will happen. <clears throat> I always knew it will happen one day. Kingdoms do not play with their rainmakers. But Obu and your Lord killed the greatest rainmaker of our time. Hey! What a sacrilege. My brother and I will return to Nankwa tomorrow. With you. To set the once flourishing peaceful kingdom back on the path of peace and prosperity. We decided not to start our families here because we had always known that one day we shall return back to Nankwa, our land, to marry from the maidens of our land and then we will start our families there.
It shall be well with you, Emenike. You see? On behalf of my partners here, noble and brave men of Nanko, I say a big thank you to you for your hospitality. You're welcome. You see. Thank you. Uh, Emenike, I want to make a special request. And that thing is, if there is another route we can follow to get back to Nampo without going to see those hostile demons we met on our way of welcoming here. If you say this, I will be disappointed in you that you are afraid. Men of Nampo must never be afraid of anything except the gods and the goddesses. We shall use the same road we used to get here. And we shall triumph over all the hostile spirits and demons. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let us not argue on that. Men of Nanko should prepare their minds and ready to make merry. We are not passing through Abunde. We are not passing through Amudele. We are not passing through Itele. We are passing through Aguleri. And I can tell you, before the sun set tomorrow, we shall be in Nanko. Is that ever possible? I mean, we spent six days and six nights on our way to this place. How then do you think we can get to Nanko before sunset tomorrow? Hmm. We have lived the better part of our lives here, you know, in our know, We know the nooks. We know the crannies. Kings in Nankwa are crowned at night. And tomorrow's night, it will happen. We shall stand before the throne of Nankwa Kingdom. And all our ancestors shall show that even though they are dead, they are not dead. <laughs> Men of Nangwa, eat and make merry. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> um, Moza, share the drinks. Huh? You're welcome. <coughs> You're welcome. <coughs> Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? Hey, hey, hey! Original. This is. Ah, Diego. Listen to me. That you overheard Odera pleading with Chiwendo to oblige him her body is no news. It's not a news at all. The news now is that something mightier than Odera is about to happen. And I tell you, it's very close. Yes! Okay, Kako. Something mightier than Odera the king. I mean, what could that be? Listen, Odera is not a king, so stop calling me king. The staff of Anangwa is itching to come down. And I tell you, once I succeed in bringing it down, there and then Odera will understand that men that control nations and kingdoms are not men, muscle, but intelligent men. Okay. What happens if you go to bring the staff of Anenangwa only to find out that it is no longer where you hit it? You see your problem. When I say that you are not among the strong men of Nanko, you will get angry. The question you just asked now has even proven you not to be qualified to follow even the masquerade of Nanko. Okay, Ka. I told you. 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 All our days of suffering and barrenness in this village have come to an end. You went up one day. Over there, you go. Over there, you go. Over there, you go. Over there, you go. Hey, 
Has anyone ever told you that King Godera is not the authentic king of Nampo? My mother told me he inherited the kingship from his father. Hmm, that's not in doubt. But the truth is that he used a strange charm to take over from the rightful person. Who is telling you all those nonsense? Mind the kind of things you say in this kingdom. I don't want trouble. You're one of the people that call me drunk in this village. As if I'm drinking with their money. Why did you say that? I'm Oke Kako, the second. Son of Oke Kako, the great, the first Oke Kako. I am bigger than all the men in your family. I beg your pardon? All the problems we'll be facing in this village have come to an end. Do you get that? All the wasted years have been buried. Very soon. Very soon, a new king will emerge. A king that fits the throne. And I, the person you call a drunk, I am the one in charge. Eh? I've known it from the very beginning that you are part of the future of Nampo Kingdom. Huh? I want you to prepare your mind, prepare yourself, body and soul for the task ahead. You're going to be my wife. Huh? Who is okay, Kago? To tell me that he's mighter than all the men in my family. If I were you, I'll concentrate more on the important things he said about our kingdom. He proposed to you. Are you ready to marry a drunk? <laughs> I doubt if he's a drunk. Of Anina Kingdom. Do. Anina Kingdom. Do. I stand before you in humility. Okay, Kakunamo. Do. Your son is standing before you, seeking for the staff of Anina The rainmaking stone has finally come. Let the staff return. Let the staff return! Let the staff return! Where you are the body, sir. Yeah. Is your good? Yeah. Where is the Libya? Yeah. Where is the Libya? Where is the Libya? Where is the When we sent our Madi and his colleagues to Masienu, we gave them specific instruction. Go to Masienu and fetch the sons of Mosu to return to this kingdom with the making stone that their father Mosu stole from our land. Why are the sons of Mosu finally standing before me? without the rain-making stone. Why? When an evil man sits as the king, the land must surely pass through trials and tribulations. An evil man sits as the king in Nankwa. And that is why the land is facing the poverty we are facing today. Who 
is the evil man that sits in Nampua as the king? Are you possibly making references to me? Oh, of course, Igwe. He cannot possibly be referring to the Igwe. It's not possible. Uh, it's, possible. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, but Igwe, what is on ground now does not require any violent storm. Hmm. Let us listen to what the son of Umos has to say. Igwe, this Nangwo kingdom has gone through poverty for a long time. Yes. The lack and suffering is too much. It has to end tonight. This meeting is going to continue. But first, everybody here must surrender under my supremacy. I remain the king of Nanfo. And if this meeting must continue, then all of you here must bow down and acknowledge me as the king or else I am going to invoke my powers as the king of this land. You call yourself the king and I ask you immediately, are you the king of which people? Oba, can you explain the meaning of this madness? Why are they insulting the king right before the throne? The great ancestors of Nampo had revealed that you, Igodara, is sitting on a throne reserved for another person. We now know that you are not worthy of this throne. And I plead with you to please step down this moment and save Nampo some troubles. Unbelievable. Extremely unbelievable. You are asking me to step down from the throne, the same throne that I inherited from my father? Your father stole the mandate, and I want you to know this. Falsehood cannot last forever. Tonight, falsehood will end. So I plead with you to do one honorable thing. Step down or be disgraced, King or Dera. Every other deity of now gives way for an example. Any man that can uproot the staff from the ground of an example is the king. Now if you insist you are the king of this kingdom, come out here and uproot this staff. Are you, are, you, are you talking to me? Is he possibly talking to me? Higwe, are you, are you asking me? Higwe, nobody in this kingdom is disputing the fact that you are king. Obasi yeah. Mbano. But you have to prove it to every one of them. By approaching the staff. Go ahead and approach it. And continue as king. You are supporting this? I have no voice here. I have nothing to say. <coughs> and you are supporting this? Your Majesty, it is the general opinion of the people. Hmm. That's my ego. Oh, of course. I don't know the meaning of this conspiracy. I don't know what you are up to. I don't know what you have planned, but I'm telling you this night that I remain the king of this land. Nothing changes. I remain the custodian of this throne and I shall continue to rule 
as the king here in Nauku. Silence. The stolen crown is nothing but a makeup on the head of the bear. His death marks the end of all the evil in this kingdom. The next king of this kingdom is here with us. Come out and put the staff from the ground of an Hi. Uh, as for me, I am not going to attempt to uproot this staff from the ground. Uh, because simply, I know I am not the king. I am not. <coughs> the throne is definitely not for me. So I won't even give it a try. Okay. Not at all. Fernandi, your father was right when he appeared to us. You are indeed the king. Go and uproot this staff and save this land from embarrassment. of this kingdom is here with us. Who is that king that must be crowned tonight? Come out. Come out for the throne is waiting. King. Who is that king that must be crowned tonight? The throne is waiting.
もう。